friend may be a dog, but a chimpanzee in Florida has been building unique bonds with people for decades. Dan Corcoran gets chummy with little mama on the breakdown. South Florida, where so many spend their golden years. <laughs> that includes one little lady named Little Mama. Higgy is the alpha male walking up through. Terry Wolf, wildlife director at Lion Country Safari, just outside West Palm Beach, takes us on a boat across a moat to the island where 76-year-old Little Mama and her fellow chimpanzees live. One, two. Was a bad throw. Go get oh, it. She'll get it. Mama's on a special diet these days, which I got to help with. I've never been so close to something quite like that, and it's awesome. Each of these chimps have their own personality. They are so much like us, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Terry says Mama, who's believed to be the oldest chimp in captivity in the world, is a kind and gentle soul, often seen carrying a soft teddy bear on her back. She is really communicating back to people how special they are. Terry says in the 1950s, Mama was a performer in the Ice Capades, a variety show that traveled the country. That's where she became human-oriented. In the 60s, she was lucky enough to land at Lion Country Safari and under Terry's care. A few years later, she was examined by famed anthropologist Jane Goodall, who helped pinpoint Mama's age. Mama! Joy Harris used to work here 30 years ago and still gets excited when Mama recognizes her voice today. It feels really good. I mean, it brings tears to your eyes. With her graying hair and fragile frame, little Mama will celebrate her 77th birthday on Valentine's Day. As frail as she might seem to us, she's a powerful primate. For decades, she's been showing Terry and the world that she's no silly monkey. Little Mama is a great ape. I love you, sweetheart. Okay with a great big heart. We got today, let's, let's make the most of it.